So, you want a switch to do one thing when you press it, and something else when you press it again. And you'd like to alternate between these two states with each press. Easy. Toggling between two functions on one switch is commonly desired behavior for a MIDI foot controller and it has many applications. For example, you could have a switch function as an on-off switch for an effect, or you could have a switch perform as a start recording, stop recording switch for a looper, and another possibly for playing back and stopping the loop. You could also have a switch recall a preset sound with one press, and another preset sound with the next press, or have it activate and deactivate the tuner function on a device. There's really so much you can do with this, and you can extract a lot of utility out of your MIDI controller this way. We posted a video about toggle mode about four years ago, but a lot has changed since then. The Morningstar editor experience has vastly improved, and it now has a significantly different user interface. And of course, we now have the MC6 Pro with color screens, offering much better visual feedback when it comes to showing you the state of your switches. Today, we get an updated look at how to program toggle switches on your Morningstar MIDI controller. Starting off with an empty switch, let's program it to engage and bypass the Generation Loss Mark II. For a switch to toggle between two different sets of messages, you need to enable toggle mode. Make sure that the toggle mode button is active and highlighted over here. Now the first message we need is a CC message to engage the Gen Loss. So let's go ahead and choose a press action followed by CC message. Click on Open MIDI Dictionary to choose the message we need. In this case, I've already added the Gen Loss to my favorites, so I don't need to scroll through all the devices in the MIDI Dictionary. I can just click on it here to access its functions. If you don't know how to use the MIDI Dictionary yet, check it out in our video linked down below. Let's go on and select Engage Pedal, set the message to be sent via MIDI Channel 4, which is what I have the Gen Loss set to. The next thing we need to do is set this message to be in toggle position 1, so that it gets sent the first time we press this switch. All messages that are set to position 1 will be sent the first time the switch is pressed, and all messages set to position 2 will be sent the second time the switch is pressed. Now we need a second message to bypass the gen loss. Let's do the same thing again, choose CC message, but this time let's select bypass pedal and set it to toggle position 2. With the MC6 Pro, you get to use colors to easily identify your presets, as well as indicate the state of a switch. In this case, I'm going to go for a nice matching color with the gen loss. In my opinion, the closest one we have is turquoise. I'll choose the darked out version of turquoise for position 1, which will be shown when the gen loss is bypassed, and normal turquoise for position 2, which will light up when the gen loss is engaged. You can choose to affect the color of the text, background, color strip, or any combination of the above. In this case, I'm just going to affect the color strip. Let's save this preset and see if it does what we want. Perfect! With each press, I can now engage and bypass the gen loss and see its bypass state reflected on the MT6 Pro screen. That means if the gen loss is somewhere far away on the pedal board, I can still see its toggle state even when only looking at my MIDI controller. Now the title of this video says toggle mode and more. So of course there is something more. What if you want a switch to toggle between two different messages when you press it, but also send a completely different message when you perform another action? This is also possible. For this example, I'm going to continue with the gen loss, but now I'd like to toggle the gen loss on and off with each press, but also turn my HX Storm tuner on and off with double taps. What we need to do now is disable toggle mode for this switch. Because what we want is for a press action to toggle between positions 1 and 2, but we do not want a double tap to toggle switch positions. We simply want a double tap to send the HX Stomp tuner message. After disabling toggle mode, I now need to add a toggle preset message that is triggered by a press action. This will toggle our switch between positions 1 and 2. Then, I'll add another message that is triggered by a double tap action and choose the HX Storm Tuner CC message to be sent via MIDI Channel 5, which is what I have the HX Storm set to. Hit save, and now we have a switch that toggles the gen loss on and off each time I press it, but also engages and disengages the HX Storm Tuner each time I double tap it. And the toggle state of this switch is unaffected by the double tap. Such a 2-in-1 switch allows you to save other switches on your MIDI controller for more presets and functions. Toggle mode has many applications and we hope you found today's video useful. If you did, do remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for all the latest product updates and tutorials on Morningstar products. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.